In this video, I want to discuss the importance of actually being able to help grow your business and what you need to do in order to grow your business and how to strategically do so by creating the right partnerships and be able to bring the right people on board. So if you're interested, make sure to stick around. What is going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Serge. Welcome to the channel. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown me. And if you have not yet, make sure to go check out the God Made Podcast on most streaming platforms. Also feel free to go check out Legion Assist Living Academy. And that is where I teach how to actually start your own facility from a to z also if you're interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one, a mentorship call with myself or book a in-person uh, meeting with myself and spend the whole day make sure to go check that out at legionassistlivingacademy.com and if you have not checked out valleyalfventures.com feel free to do so if you are a passive investor looking to passively invest into this industry or you're an operator looking to potentially expand your operations, we would love to have a conversation with you and see if it leads anywhere. Or if you're looking to potentially sell your facility, feel free to reach out to us. And now that the housekeeping is all completed and done, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of this video. Now I got a question a few videos ago and someone had asked how important was it to bring on different business partners to be able to help with the growth of the portfolio that I currently have of 15 facilities. And I would say it is very critical to be able to bring on the right partnerships and to be able to envision where you're trying to go, especially within this field of residential assisted livings, behavioral health, DD, so on and so forth. And so there's only so much that you can do as an owner operator, especially when you start off, right? Typically what happens a lot of the times is that someone uh, like yourself will go in, start the facility, and they will become their own manager, their own caregiver, their own chef, their own cook, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And what happens is you get bogged down with all these hats that you have to wear and you have a hard time being able to bring on somebody to you know, wear the lead caregiver hat and also wear the lead chef hat and also be the manager and administrator. And there's all these roles, right? And then you have bookkeeping, accounting, um, doing the tours, marketing, et cetera, right? There's all these different moving pieces. And so being able to bring the right partnerships and even bring on the right people onto your team to help provide this is gonna take time. That's one thing that people have to really take in consideration is the time to bring on these people. Because until you kind of have it figured out and systemized yourself to be able to teach someone else, that's gonna take time to learn. You're gonna have to work out all the different quirks of different parts of the business, right? What marketing strategies work, which ones don't, uh, what, what foods and what things are the easiest to be able to provide the most nutritional value for your residents and be cost effective at the same time, right? How do you get everything systemized for your lead caregivers? These are all things that you're gonna have to figure out and have to bring on somebody who can start implementing those tasks right away rather than them trying to figure out. Maybe they will tweak things according to what they feel like may actually be more efficient and you may agree with them as they bring those items to you. But time is a huge factor when it comes to building this out. And another thing is partnerships, right? There's only so much money that you will have access to that you'll be able to bring on yourself, that you will be able to utilize and leverage, right? And so being able to bring on those capital partners as needed and also other people with other resources, right? There's gonna be brokers who have different contacts and different resources and be able to bring you opportunities that you otherwise wouldn't be able to bring on yourself. And so when it comes to partnerships and when it comes to building out your team, very first thing is time and also systems and then also efficiency. So systems would be the second thing, right? Building out the systems and being able to build out pretty much your standard operating procedures uh, for each item that is gonna be done by certain roles within your business. So for instance, if you're gonna have your lead caregiver what are their roles gonna be, right? They're gonna be the ones managing the remaining caregivers that are under them, that are learning 
to do everything that they need to do to make sure that the residents are being taken care of, right? Your chef is gonna have to understand what their role is as well and how you want things done. And then on top of that, you're gonna have your administrator and your manager who is gonna be ultimately managing all of these individuals and what they, he, essentially what that individual is gonna need to do as the manager and administrator and systemizing everything for them so that way it's just a plug and play. They can come in, do what they need to do, they know they're gonna have essentially a checklist, a punch list of what they need to do in order for them to accomplish day in and day out their tasks. And so you as the owner and entrepreneur should work in tandem with them on these things until you have it to a point where you have it so refined that no matter what happens, if they leave, if they're off, if something, you have to bring somebody else in or you have them expand their roles, right? As they continue to grow in their own roles, they're obviously not gonna stay in the same spot, hopefully, and that shouldn't be the people that you're surrounding you're into your business with, it's just people who are willing to stay flatlined and stagnant. And there's nothing, you know, they can do that if they choose to, but they should have real expectations of what the, the result's gonna be for that. So always be willing to give them upward momentum, right? Be able to allow them to take on more responsibilities and be able to delegate to these individuals what needs to be done. Thirdly is efficiency, right? When it comes to efficiency, most people just think if they put in the time, right, from nine to five, you know, that's eight hours, whatever it may be, that they've done their part. But that's not the case. Most people should be looking at things of, okay, how can I work smarter and harder, right? But being able to maximize every single thing that they do, right? So if, if something's taken five hours, but it should realistically only take an hour, they need to get to a point where they can figure out and you help them as the owner operator, you help them figure things out to be just one hour rather than five hours that it would normally take them. So, you know, I'll give a perfect example. If there's certain residents in a facility, right? Your lead caregiver, tells you, hey, I need help, I'm, you know, I need an extra caregiver. Well, how about we utilize the current caregivers and we figure out, okay, how can we go about maximizing the time that they have? Now, if you go through and you see that you truly need to bring on another caregiver because the current caregivers and the current tasks that they're doing simply can't allow them to, you know, finish quicker than, let's say, five hours, then okay, maybe you do bring it out and you guys work in tandem together to be able to actually shrink that time so and make it more efficient essentially. So again, time, systems, and efficiencies is gonna go a long way when building out your teams. And again, bringing on the right partnerships and bringing on the right people will help with all of those things. Will help with time, right? It's gonna help you with systems and efficiencies because at the end of the day, we all have 24 hours and there's only so much each and every single one of us can do. And so that is what you need to start considering and factoring in as you scale your business, as you're looking at what you're currently doing and how you can do it more. And hopefully this video provided you guys a ton of value in how I'm starting to look at things more and more and just giving you guys more insight into what it is I do and how I look at things and hopefully it's provided you all a ton of value and if it did, make sure to go check out legionassistedlivingacademy.com. Also, if you're looking to book a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with myself, feel free to do so at legionassistedlivingacademy.com or if you're looking to come and book a full day, um, definitely go do that as well. And make sure to check out valleyalefventures.com. And with that being said, I will talk to you all in the next one. God bless.